fully convicted, convicted by complete, and I'm going to say it in and I will get in trouble for it, but I'm going to say it, complete, utter dishonesty, disregard for the Constitution, a lack of integrity, gambling, like this is a casino, risk-taking, desperation, evil, wickedness, Babylon system. To where we are today. So who God bless, no man cursed. But when we speak of systems, when we speak of the right to a fair hearing within a reasonable time. Let me read what our constitution says. So, so me, 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 me want to educate my Jamaican people. And if you're not from Jamaica, Google your constitution and see what your constitution says about this thing. Because this is what we talk. This is what was put on the world stage. How do I know it was on the world stage? I see it everywhere I go. I went into movie theaters and, and, and people said, I saw you on the stream. I'm walking on the street as a common man and people recognize who I am. For my, them, if you ever hear about 15 minutes of fame, it was literally that as, as, as the length of time that I had to make an impact in a passionate plea to ensure that the rights of four men who are wrongfully convicted, convicted by complete, and I'm going to say it in and I will get in trouble for it, but I'm going to say it, complete, utter dishonesty, disregard for the Constitution, a lack of integrity, gambling, like this is a casino, risk-taking, desperation, evil, wickedness Babylon system to ensure that when that when we got to this time in life what you think happened this time in life Afrobeats has excelled far beyond reggae because the players the movers and the shakers was oppressed we've had in this out of Jamaica just like how we have you seen board we got Bob Marley and People are going to say I'm biased, but do not ever, ever count this out. I've said this in many spaces. Vibes Cartel is a national treasure. Vibes Cartel was placed in the Court of Appeal, Courtroom 1 in the Privy Council. His appeal was heard in the biggest court of the land and heard by the chief, the chief, the president of the Privy Council and the appeal court, the appellate court, and given given the respect and the human the humanity something that was missed and lost in other spaces and a discussion of constitutional rights and giving effect to for us by us because when our charter was created this thing that i i don't leave it you know i walk with it and my bible I don't ever leave it, so I want y'all to see it. It's called the Jama it's the Jamaican Constitution, but it's this particular aspect of it was bounded and given to me by Mr. Bert Samuels, once my once my um my mentor. And he said this was important. And I would have known that because I was schooled by a Tracy Robinson and and, and nurtured at the University of the West Indies and a umpy scumpy school me go. So a, 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 a test to show that when you speak about the constitution, is your constitution? They don't know it. The lords respectfully don't know it. But when a chief justice, when our chief justice says, listen, this is homegrown. This was made by us, the people, for the people, by the people, not from our colonial masters, to, to have us escape slavery, knowing that when we escape slavery, and, and, and on the road to independence, we had to make sure that the least among us would be treated as humans, because all of we now to have money. But I can tell you, say, all the riches, the silver and gold will vanish away, but a good constitution will never decay. And the, 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 the creatures of the constitution can never abuse you when the constitution is working. So what happened February 14th and 15th? The working of the constitution, the showing up of a disgraceful moment where the constitutional rights, not no, because I can tell you this with, with pride and authority, 
that in Jamaica, the court, and, and you can ask the people who are always on, whether, whether it be the Ratigan show or previously the Andre Steven show, any one of these shows, when I appear on these platforms and we talk about the constitution and talk about the judiciary, the, the judiciary it works. So the complaint being made on the Vites cartel case was when the charter was just changed. Is when we were getting rid of the wickedness and the bad mind and the corruption. Corruption still there, and you know your parliament, the six don't come out yet. But the corruption within the police force, the use of the man phone, the the tampering of in of 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 um technological information, and then you have ha, we soon talk about the jury when you put people who 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 deal with police husband and wife. White up on the jury or the police were, 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 were responsible for security. Soldier up on the jury. Woman were sleep floor, but our man of police and the mix up. And then woman were own um, funeral parlor where I walk up the street, but had a cell phone and she's the this and she's that. All of them mix up here going, you know, real, 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 real thing. And these things is, is, is what is, um, is, the other side of the game. And so the right to privacy now is get your privacy, breach your privacy, then scandal you. It's called ad hominem. Scandal you and use information to shift the narrative in the public space and speak about circumstantial things that don't necessarily have inescapable in inferences. But why I say all of this? Because a jury of your peers is all those things that I tell you. But the key aspect of it is a properly constituted jury. That is, that, that, that is what we must think about, a properly constituted jury. So I go back to it now. And our constitution, section 16.1 says, whenever a person is charged, it's with a, with a criminal offense. He shall, unless the charge is withdrawn, be afforded a fair hearing within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial court established by law. Do you see that? Independent and impartial court. People must ask themselves, what is the independent and impartial court? Well, at the time, it would have been the jury. At the time, it would have been the judge. And at the time, it would have been how the process works. The defense attorneys come in and the prosecutor is there and all of that. So four men charged for murder, not capital murder. Information collected, collated, and sorted by the police in breach of the Interception of Communication Act. And the constitution, this constitution, the charter, and through the charter, it says that to use this information, if it's not collected in the manner that the charter prescribed, it must be demonstrably justifiable in a free and democratic society. That, that, that's, that's, that's the crux of the matter. No. Within the, this demonstrably justifiable in a free and democratic society, they said it's not, we don't need that. Them don't need that. Them, don't, them, them boy they don't need that. Them, them, them definitely, and we not do it. And the judge says, aren't you daunted? Says to the prosecutor, he was in court today. Aren't you daunted by the fact that the people now have a powerful constitution that shifts the burden on you to tell us why you breached the right? And we know, we know, we know how it works because there's a case, there's a woman who had her cell phone, her son was murdered and they, they, they wanted the code for the phone and all of that and they go to court and all, they had to go to court and then a judge does the test. So just like how it worked for Uptown, it must work for the ghetto youth. But it never works so for these four men. We go to the court of appeal and they say, well, but mind you, Charter Young, People don't really interpret it yet. It came out at the time when constitution get nice when I was in law school. So we, we get a different type of training. We, we grew up knowing that the constitution was the done of all done. 
So all this one done and skeng done and done and done and all Stefan done. Yeah, the, the Stefan done ain't no done like the constitution. Them kind of things there. Right? It's all I said. The kingdom come from not Jada. Yeah, you know, the kingdom, not Jada. You get, you get what I'm saying. And yeah, and we ain't talking about Will Jada either. But you get the, you get, you get where I'm going. So with with all of this, with all of this now, growing up knowing, as in growing up meaning in the law and knowing the importance of the Constitution, know about the importance of equality, the the, the importance of um, treating your brother horizontally. Um, with respect and human dignity, everybody has that right. That was what was deprived for these men. And coupled with that, after that conduct, the, here comes the jury now. Incident number two, woman say, ah, my son say they are jail with them. Because guess what? You know, everybody picnic. Everybody picnic can do no wrong. We see it on the TV every day. When them when the police murder them, them say, my good yard, him not do nothing. Yeah? When you when you when you go around, you kill everything, every, and, and and then when you dead, the, the, the news people report that you're a businessman when you when you when you's really the murderer and all of that. But I'm not assassinating the character of dead people. I'm just saying is when for the purposes of creating a narrative we do all kind of things and 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 try to make people um bad people good and good people bad and that's why when you try to defame people you find yourself um apologizing or sometimes you just have to apologize because you don't want them beat you and kill you because i saw them go on when them ready and 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 you must have self-check morality you must know what what suits you when you are doing what you're doing so um the, the the key the key to that now is to not fall into the narrative of who's saying what. It's never over till the fat lady sing. But I can tell you this, man, the Bible don't lie. When God sent Moses for him people, them, him did already did know say he was gonna put Moses in the same castle, the same palace as the the, the, the future Pharaoh. And that future Pharaoh was gonna have inferiority, inferiority class. Um, complex because th this fear had to be in the trenches. The fear is not of the ilk of Moses because he was raised beneath Moses. So when you when you can't when you can't be in the, as the ilk when you can't do the law, you have to be in the trenches. And to be in the trenches, you have to you have to you have to delve into nepotism because you can't respect the law when you're in the trenches. The trenches is dirt. The trenches is a pigsty. So anywhere in the space you hear somebody say, I am in the trenches every day. Because, because the executive, you know, you can ask the parliamentarians when they, the only time you see them is election time. They're not in the trenches. That's why you need the councillors for to be in the trenches and the, the MPs drive around in the big cars now, now and then from time to time because that was too nice to be in the trenches. That's what I mean. So you say you're in the dirt and you're underground. You're the foot soldier and you're proud of that. It just means that you're not you're not dealing with the um the the the, the legal aspects. You're just you're just a doer and a push push your agendas. You're not yeah yeah. That's what trenches mean. So you lose respect for the constitution. You lose respect for the system, and that has called that is what will cause a situation where a jury is tampered with so let's talk about hypotheticals because that's what that's all we heard um from the the side that wants to say that everything was justified to justify breaches of the constitution you say oh uh, let's get into the minds of people now i can tell you this you can't get into my mind because things like Here's what I'm I'm doing my speech and I don't know. I don't know if I was hungry, but I said Tom Tavares, KFC. He's only people who come on Ratigan show will know say will 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 definitely find it hilarious when I say KFC say it's most I said most of thing about barbecue chicken where I'm just get up out of nowhere and, and start to talk about KFC. So 
you definitely you definitely can appreciate that from talking about KFC or thinking about KFC. Nobody's gonna just pre and think that you're a madman um in 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 that space or or in that context. Now when if one were to think about I'm I'm seeing that this thing frees up but I still have to um continue because that is what I have to do. Um nonetheless when when it is that all right say i'm back sorry about that i was talking about yeah i don't know how i i i said tom Tavares kfc the good thing is i had a conversation with him and i'm using this platform to say i give that man i give that man his flowers this man says and 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 i'm saying this now and i know i'll have an opportunity in other spaces but when i said tom Tavares kfc there was a response behind me that i gave no no weight to because i wouldn't understand that um tom Tavares plays two roles he is a um is a senator he's a he, and he's a lawyer king's counsel so when he's in court when he has the first instance lawyer says to the judge it is your dilemma we have a constitution and the rights are breach it is your dilemma here's why you can tell a judge it's his dilemma and it, those are nice words for Go on, go read it, because I make the law. I sign the law. I make the law. I write it off as a senator. I, the law you are reading now, you are, the, we have a, the doctrine of separations of powers. So the legislator is different from the judiciary. So I am the legislator, and I'm telling you, the judiciary, go learn it, go read it. Because you breach it, I write it, I know it. So he did enough to save and preserve that aspect of it. Now, why is that important? Because, well, I'm just addressing that. I, I had the conversation with him about calling him KFC, and he understood. He understood that it wasn't disrespect. So there are some people who you can just take up the phone and call them, and they'll be quick to write a paper to, 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 to get you in problems. But um, he understood that. <laughs>